I picked up the Sephora Sun Kit of 2023. Did you guys pick it up? It is $39 with a retail value of $235. It's totally worth it if you want to try new sunscreens and especially if you wanna try higher end sunscreens. I'm gonna show you what all is in this little kit. And if I've already tried the sunscreen, I will tell you something about it. <laughs> if not, I will be trying the sunscreens and a video will be coming out where I test all the sunscreens out in the sun kit. Hi, Sean here, Melanoma Mom. I would love for you to join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel and also by purchasing a t-shirt that says never alone and has the melanoma awareness ribbon on it for the months of April and May. I will be donating all of my profits from the sale of this t-shirt to melanoma research. This year, the Sephora Sun Kit has a pretty equal amount of all chemical versus mineral sunscreens. Last year was overwhelmingly chemical sunscreens and just a few minerals, so I was pleasantly surprised to see a mix, a better, a better mix of both. Okay, so we have the Kills Ultra Facial Cream Sunscreen, which I tested out on my face last week. <laughs> <laughs> so a review is coming of that. But I can tell you if you are looking to skip your moisturizer step, you want a sunscreen with a moisturizer in one that gives you an SPF 30, this is very nice and hydrating. The Kills is all chemical with 3% avobenzone, 5% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 7% octocrylene. Dr. Dennis Gross, lightweight wrinkle defense, broad spectrum SPF 30. Now I tested this one out last year and I don't remember. I don't remember what I thought of it. <laughs> it's one fluid ounce in here. I want to say this is the full size too. I want to say this is a full size product. It has 16% zinc oxide in it and I want to say it was very moisturizing. I don't remember it, so it must have just been a meh, a meh sunscreen. I have not tried this one. This is the Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++++. It says it has antioxidants of ginkgo biloba leaf. It is all chemical. Avobenzone, homosalate, octinoxate, octosalate, and oxybenzone. Because it says essential C, I'm assuming it has vitamin C in it. Because most of these are sample sizes, they don't give you the ingredients on the back. So I'll have to look it up later and I'll pop it on the screen. This one is one of my absolute fave sunscreens for hydration. I like this one during the colder seasons. This is the Biosant Squalene Plus Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. PA++++, 14% zinc oxide. This does not give a white cast. It's hydrating. It is slightly glowy, but not the glowiest. Sits fantastic under makeup and works great around the eyes. It's fragrance free. All right, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is a, a cult favorite of many, many people. And my husband's newest favorite sunscreen, I just got through purchasing a huge bottle of this. So this will be his because I don't like it. It is a very silicone slippy feel. Um, it does peel a little bit around my jawline on me, which is, I don't usually have that problem. All chemical though. It does give a mattifying effect. It's SPF 40, fragrance free, water and sweat resistant 40 minutes, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. Reef safe, no synthetic fragrances. So my husband will be happy to get that one. All right, this one is all mineral, non-nano zinc oxide 10%. I've never tried this brand before. St. Jane, yeah, St. Jane is a beautiful bottle. SPF 30, it says it's pore smoothing. At the top here, I said desert rose jasmine hibiscus. I'm wondering if this is gonna have fragrance in it or essential oils. It says it's vegan, mineral, reef safe, clean. I would smell it, but it's got a little, a seal on it. And look, it's got a little sticky. <laughs> what? Okay, that's bougie. Look at that. That's bougie. It's plastic, but that looks very nice. Okay, moving on, you get SPF 33. I've never tried this one. The Josie Marin Get Even Sun Milk. Broad Spectrum SPF 33 Mineral Sunscreen. It has Kakadu Super Fruit Blend plus Sheer Argon Hydration. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. I'm wondering if this is gonna have essential oils. Now, argon oil, 
I tried a Josie Marin foundation years ago. Do you remember it was like in a swirly pink bottle and it had like a doe foot applicator and that broke me out. I've never had a foundation break my skin out. My skin broke out in hives and I always wondered if it was the argon oil, but hopefully it's not because I'm gonna try this. <laughs> it comes in a pump. This is a glass bottle, so that's nice. Let's unscrew it and smell it and see if it has a scent. Hmm. Maybe it might have a light citrusy scent. It's hard to tell. If it has one, it's very minimal. I did try this one out. This was in last year's kit. The Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. This is all chemical, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. I don't remember that much about it, so it must have been a meh. <laughs> screen so I will update you in the next video it does come in a pump although I do remember liking this one I remember it being very moisturizing I'll have to watch my review again <laughs> okay I tried this one Innisfree daily UV defense sunscreen I remember enjoying this one it is all chemical avobenzone homosalate octosalate I remember it being like a natural I don't remember no I try so many sunscreens I gotta go back and watch my own videos, but there's that one. This was in last year's kit, I didn't try it. This is the K or Key Skin Isle Glow Face Lotion SPF 45. It's a teeny tiny little squeezy tube. It says it's a pearlescent protective sunscreen that illuminates for an instant island glow. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be tinted and if it's gonna have a scent, I'm not sure. But it does say it's reef safe, no synthetic fragrances, avobenzone, octosalate and octocrylene. Look forward to trying that one out. Oh, okay, this is one I've been wanting to try. I have put this in my Sephora cart so many times and removed it. This is the Summer Friday Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. Why is the one I really wanna try such a tiny bottle? <laughs> this is, it looks like 9.4% zinc oxide. So I'm looking forward to this, this little baby, this little baby sunscreen. Okay, this is a great sunscreen. This is a full size. I have used one of these totally up. So I look forward to having this one again. This is the uh, First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen Zinc Oxide SPF 30. 1.7 fluid ounces, 20% zinc oxide. Fragrance free. This is a fantastic sunscreen. This reminds me a lot of the Native sunscreen, except this is not as matte as the native sunscreen. This is just slightly glower, glowier if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is a great sunscreen. I look forward to having another one of these. All right, I've just finished trying this out from last year's kit. This is the Glow Recipe Water Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. Niacinamide is great for reducing any dark spots on your face, but a lot of people can be sensitive to it. SPF 50, and it does have hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid will plump up your skin and leave it hydrating. It has aloe in it, which is very soothing. This, I wanna say, it does not say on the back, but I'm thinking it was an all chemical sunscreen. I'll pop on the screen if I'm incorrect. But I remember liking this underneath makeup. It sat beautifully, but I remember it was too glowy for me. But you know, it's made my glow recipe. <laughs> glow. <laughs> it's in the name. Here's one that I did not like last year. Did not like. So I'm going to pass this one on. <laughs> this is the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment and it will make you look like Baby Yoda. Like there's no getting around it. Even when you put foundation on top, the green still shows through. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It's thick. It's slightly gritty. Yeah, it's super de duper green and it doesn't rub away. Like that green stays and it smells like herbal, like lavender, straight up lavender. The last thing in here you get is a Hum Beauty Starts From Within Deluxe Three Day Sample, Here Comes the Sun. So it's basically it's basically a D3 vitamin. Do you guys take a, take a multivitamin? I do, I do take a vitamin D supplement. Did you get this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for a video where I give you like I'll show you on my face wearing all of this. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen and uh, it might be one of these in the kit. 